I am LaMarsha Lewis. Let's talk. Monday, February the 4th, 2022. We're going to continue your conversation uh, in regards to Whoopi Goldberg, The View, and the situation that took place a week ago today that has caused Whoopi to, one, give an apology, also uh, because of uh, a harmful statement, uh, untrue statement made uh, by The View's moderator, Whoopi Goldberg who's been with the show for quite some time now. In fact, I think she started in 2007. So she's been there about 14, 15 years uh, in just a casual conversation that she and her fellow colleagues, co-hosts were having uh, last Monday. Joy Behart, Sarah Haynes, uh, Anna Navarro, Sonny Hostin, and again, Whoopi Goldberg. They were talking about how a Tennessee school had removed from their shells or their library the book Mass is in regards to the Holocaust. Whoopi made uh, a remark that, uh, again, that was one very hurtful to our Jewish community, uh, survivors of the Holocaust, and people that, as we know, just a very horrific time that took place in Nazi Germany. Germany. Uh, Miss Kim Gottwell, who is the president of ABC, who's over uh, ABC at large and The View, I uh, gave a two-week suspension affected immediately that took place after Tuesday's show because Whoopi did come on and give a public apology on air as she had also tweeted the same uh, on Monday night and uh, many people welcomed that apology. Uh, Jonathan Greenberg, who is the CEO of Anti-Defamation League, better known as ADL, said he uh, accepted Whoopi's apology, thinks she was uh, really, uh, truly sorry. Uh, he gave, he was on the show too, sick of Whoopi and Vice so that she could learn. But Miss Kim God would think it's best for her to take this two weeks suspension to be more conscious of her remarks and to learn that words do matter. And since then, because of social media, we know social media is is basically everything in today's world. Many uh, social media outlets are make uh, statements that I, I I'm going to use a different term, but it's being reported. And like um, this is actually from the New York Post, where it says that Whoopi's co-hosts are furious about her suspensions suspension from the show the two week suspension that was given um, it says st still other networks insiders told the outlet that Goldberg's co-host Sonny Hostin, Joy Behart and Anna Navarro are furious that she was suspended. I would like to use the term, I don't want to use the term furious because I don't agree with that I don't think that the ladies are furious in them, but, uh, uh, but I, I am not them, nor do I know them on a personal manner. So, my thing, I would say I know they're hurt. In fact, the entire staff, the, the co-hosts, the behind the scenes, Karen, the makeup artist, uh, Derek, the makeup artist, uh, the, the men and women that we see, uh, the prop people, everyone that's involved that uh, makes up the show. Uh, Brian Tedder, who is the executive pro producer, he's always out front with the ladies when they're when they're taping the show. Miss um, Kim got with the president of ABC. Um, I mean the entire staff because Whoopi is known around the world. Whoopi is a phenomenal person. And she carries weight. She's she's loved. She's respected. She made a mistake. She's apologized. Miss Kim is carrying out a two week suspension, to my understanding, without pay. Affected immediately. What took place as of last Tuesday and started on last Wednesday. So we must now try to learn from this situation and do our best to not repeat this this situation and to be very sympathetic to our Jewish community to the people that of the Holocaust and all of that and remember if you're not a part of that particular community or that particular culture sometimes it's best not to speak 
And now keep in mind the view is an opinionated show. That's what the lady's job is to give their opinion. As as we often heard, they're very highly opinionated women. That's their job. Their job is also to do their due diligence by doing research. Some like to say homework on subject matters that they would be speaking because from my understanding um we've learned from sunny Haas that they get nightly emails or, or they they are sent topics they basically um, i think kind of vote to decide on what topic that they feel would be a best topic to talk about on that particular next day's show miss barbara walter who is the founder along with uh, mr bill getty who founded the show and the show as we know is in their is in its 25th season she started uh the the morning meetings the ladies do have to get to the studio early they have to get there to do their morning meetings the makeup and everything again that takes to make up this now number one political tv talk show and as i often say with women at the table and let me say it like this with badass women at the table Whoopi being the moderator, again, been there since 2007. Joy Behar has been there the entire run, except for the time frame when she had, uh, was fired from the show, but they asked her to come back. She's been back ever since. She's the oldest person there. I think Joy's like 79 or something like that. I know she's in her late late 70. Then you got Sarah Haynes that's there. You got Sonny Hostin, who's an attorney, also has a journalist degree. A former prosecutor uh, you have uh, Anna Navarro who's also has a uh, is an attorney has a law degree she is our Friday fill-in who cause Whoopi is off on Fridays and landed that job uh, a few years ago where she's the Friday fill-in and also Anna fills in during the week when when she's available to do that herself so we're gonna t talk about again what has been trending i think this is just social media being social media and not everybody love or respect the show the view or the ladies the fellow co-hosts so they're guided out here saying that the co-hosts are fierce and then again I, again i don't know them personally this is my perspective me giving my point of view my thoughts on the matter I would say that they are hurt. I would say that they are crushing. And would we be truthful? Many of us are too, including myself. As I had stated when I had shared the post uh, that Miss Kim, I'm concerned about Whoopi, but I understand and I respect the position that Miss Kim had to do, like she even said in her um, statement that she released to the public. It's not it wasn't an easy decision but necessary because as miss kim said words matter and she is going to make sure that the view the culture is in alignment that we are respectful to our fellow communities such as the jewish community men women boys and girls all mankind we, we, we're going to practice being having empathy and being kind and respectful and again Edu this is an educational moment we need to educate ourselves but uh i'm gonna read what anna said anna navarro it says this is anna uh, navarro's statement to the new york post i love whoopi goldberg i love the view navarro told the day i'm sorry I, I said the uh, New York Post, which it is the New York Post, but this is um, from, she told the Daily Beast. Uh, Navarro told the Daily Beast on Tuesday evening, which would have been February the 1st, 2022, the day after the um, situation took place when uh, Whoopi made the remarks in regards to the Holocaust. This was an incredibly unfortunate incident. Whoopi is a long life alley to the Jewish community. She is not anti-Semitic, period. I am sad, and I have nothing else to say. And again, that is what Anna Navarro said. And I have saw on social media, Instagram pages, uh, Karen DePriest, 
who is a longtime uh, makeup artist, a longtime friend of Whoopi Goldberg. I saw where she had shared a post, and I uh, said, I am glad to see her real friends supporting her. I said, I'm pulling for Whoopi. Love her. Love seeing her real friends support her. And Karen showed a picture of herself and uh, Whoopi and some fellow friends. In fact, another makeup artist, um, Derek Monroe, he also had shared a post with him and Whoopi. It's a beautiful picture of him and Whoopi. And his, his, his post said, just felt like posting. Again, I come in, I said, I love this. I love Whoopi. Love seeing her real friends still supporting her. And I do. Um, Sarah Haynes has been trending today because she I also went uh, on her social media. She had posted on her Instagram. And some people, from what I have heard, thought that Sarah had just recently made the post. Uh, but if you look at the post, you would know that this is actually... Uh, older a picture of previous post and a old pictures not something recent <coughs> excuse me and Sarah post said this just popped up and warmed my heart that's my whoop and it's a beautiful picture of she and whoopie so share uh Sarah uh shared that on her Instagram and she has been trending on social media, on Twitter, and all of that. And she actually made a comment that I want to read to you all. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. And it says, Sarah Hain hits out at fans who say Whoopi's suspension is not enough. How many African Americans thrown in the sea that was when seafood was plenty and tasty? that someone uh, shared the tweet but this is what Sarah responded to in her words the troll and I'm going to read what Sarah stated she said I like to invite people trolling the post to go play somewhere else to learn from a moment that a moment is all we all can ask anyone. I'm going to repeat that. To learn from a moment is all we can ask anyone. And prioritizing punitive measure at the expense of the message issue and teaching moment are misguided. So many people are giving uh, accolades to Sarah for, again, it, it, it brightens my heart to see uh, Whoopi's friend, uh, her, her work family, her fellow colleagues to be supportive to her. I also saw where the former uh, executive producer, Miss Candy Carter, she left the view to go be the executive producer with uh, Tamron Hall, but to my understanding, in fact, I had did some commentary. This was back in, I believe, 2021, uh, that uh, she's no longer with... Uh, Tamron Hall, but to my understanding, Miss Carter is still a part of the ABC uh, team doing work. But Miss Carter also had posted a picture uh, of her in Whoopi. Uh, it says Montana, Clara, New Jersey. So I guess that's where the picture uh, uh, or where they were at the time. But it's a beautiful picture of Miss Candy Carter, the former uh, View executive producer in uh, Whoopi. And her simply says, hashtag good human. Good human. And I want to say this, and I've, ha I've heard some other bloggers, YouTube bloggers, and many people have spoken out. And as Whoopi said in her apology, she's always been an ally for the Jewish community, and that will not waver. We know Whoopi's real name is Karen. She goes by the stage name of Whoopi Goldberg. Many still call her Whoopi Goldberg. And then many many just say whoopee but her stage last name because of her love and support to the jewish community that's where her stage last name goldberg comes from so let's i think that's an important 
to note and to acknowledge. And I want to say this. Whoopi is a beloved person by many, many people. Fellow friends, family, colleagues, fans around this entire world. So she made a mistake. She has took responsibility for the mistake, on the mistake, apologized, had Mr. Uh, Jonathan Greenbaum on the day after, uh, that next day, Tuesday, after she had made the remarks that were offensive to our Jewish community. Uh, Ms. Kim Godwin has took on uh, the responsibility to ask Whoopi to take a two-week suspension, which took effect immediately to think about uh, and the impact of what her words were, how they hurt, and to learn from the moment. Again, learning from this situation, moving forward, as many people have said, even Ms. Grimm, a teachable, teachable moment. He, he went on to be on uh, Don Lemon I showed that Tuesday as well. As I just read to you what Sarah said, we all can learn from this. But I want to point out when Abby Hansman, who was a co-host, Abby was on there like a year, and she decided that um, she uh, left the show before her contract ended. And on the day, her last day, and when she gave her announcement to us, Whoopi, as we know, it, it was Whoopi, Abby, just like now it's Whoopi Sarah because uh, Abby had taken to Sarah's place when Sarah had left to do her show with um, beginning with her and, and Michael Strahan. Then it went to Michael Strahan, Sarah, and Kiki Palmer. But on the day that uh, Abby announced she would be leaving the show, she told Whoopi, you were my angel. You looked out for me. You protected me so I think that is very important to know like I say Whoopi is respected at the view she is respected at the view on the set with her fellow colleagues her co-hosts the makeup artists uh the producers the behind all the behind the scenes because I don't know all your the people but all the people that it takes to bring us the number one TV political show where they are all women. I want to add this, a group of badass women. That is who they are. Whoopi Goldberg, Joy Behar, Sonny Hostin, Sarah Haynes, Anna Navarro. These are women that get to sit at the table uh, again to speak their views they're paid to give their views their point of view as they often say i know sarah has made the statement highly opinionated women that is who they are that's their job but again they do bear a responsibility to do adequate research homework due diligence of whatever subject matter that they're speaking on speaking of so that when they sit before us come on live tv they can give their opinion but we also go get it from an educated viewpoint with facts and being respectful especially when you're talking about things that can be a sensitive matter so abby said that again on her last day about how Whoopi was her protector her angel candace beret who was um dj from full house at one point in time, she was a quite frequent guest co-host. I remember one time some situation had took place and Candace, uh, the show was taped, new, uh, the view was taped in New York City live. To my understanding, Candace lives in California, LA, I believe. But she was in New York. Something had happened at her children's school. She had became a wreck because I get it. She's, if you are a woman, you got kids, you're going to be a mom first, first and foremost. I get it that I'm a mom. I'm a grandmother. Completely agree. Respect. So, again, something had happened. She was in her dressing room freaking out. And then just minutes before there to go live on the show, like, how am I going to get myself together? Do a live show. 
want to be there with my family, my children, because of the situation that was going on. She said, whoopee, not on her dressing room door and just open her arms. Like, just come on, you, like for a big, big embrace. She said she fell into Whoopi's arm. She was able to release, cry, and Whoopi like, okay, now we got to go do the show. See, things like that. Let's not forget things like that. We are human. I'm human. You're human. Whoopi, all the ladies, if you are a human being, you're human, meaning you're going to make mistakes. I like what Mr. Uh, Jonathan Greenbart said. He said, I'm not a cancel culture. I'm a counsel, meaning learn, make it a teachable moment. So I'm just happy to see the late, uh, her, her, like I say, the co-host and her friends, especially uh, Karen DePeach and um, Derek Monroe, because they often go on vacation and there would, would be even on project matters that's not to be i've seen pictures of them where they travel together like i say when whoopi got sick uh a couple of years ago a few years ago it was karen to peach the makeup artist that she called and it was karen that got her to the hospital doctor and, and, and all of that so whoopi is respected whoopi is beloved by many people so this is a teachable moment for us all. It's a difficult moment for us all. Most important, very difficult for the view itself. Whoopi, Joy, Sarah, Sonny, Anna, Karen, uh, Derek, Miss Kim, Mr. Brian Tedder. Those are the ones I, I can name, but the entire view team. This is a very difficult moment. And we, we it's a very sensitive moment as well but it's a teachable moment and guess what it's a it's now in the past and we're going to learn from this and we're going to move forward we're uh, patiently waiting for a whoopie to return upon the her two week suspension some have speculated uh gave a ledge that well they don't know if it would if she will return none of us do we won't know until again two weeks later uh wednesday uh was the first day which was uh february the second and her affected immediately the two weeks speech start uh it will be a week on the ninth which is two days away the 16th will be two weeks so it is my hope we will be seeing our beloved Whoopi goldberg on february the 17th which will be on a thursday um uh, and many people have said in the jewish community they have accepted her apology uh many fans and even sean hannity came to her defense he, he stated how Whoopi apologized and we all have our opinion and we all are entitled to our opinion but at the same time we still got to practice empathy we still got to practice human kindness and respect and like i say educating ourselves learning every day is a new opportunity to learn and, no, and that's no matter what faucet of life or career that any and all of us have every day is an opportunity to learn and we can learn from anyone so let's not get puffed up. Think it's all about us. We do have to take in account, like Miss Kim says, words matters. Just like words matters, our action matter. That's why we empathy is needed. That's why forgiveness is needed. That's why uh, they invited Mr. Jonathan. It's again a teaching tool, getting the perspective of someone that knows. So let's not be so quick to be so judgmental and always want negative or bad or harmful. Like Doc, the late Dr. Martin Luther King said, love wins. Love draws out hate. So we got to be about forgiveness, kindness, respect, and being willing to learn. That's something all of us, me included, you, 
be willing to learn humble umbrace humble ourselves it's a teaching moment so um i really like what anna said she says she loves whoopee she loves the view and she's completely right this is this was an incredible unfortunate incident uh whoopee is not one that uh is anti-semitic like the former um co-host john mccain's daughter megan mccain she was very what do we spit when we talk about megan mccain she uh came out she's as we know um does call it uh, uh for daily mail weekly columns or weekly um communicate weekly um messages um and she had this she said this and this girl has no loyalty just no respect megan mccain there's no point calling for whoopi to be fired her half-ass apology by anti-system anti um sorry since it uh anti-sentence only shows again the double standards television hosts for liberals and conservatives and that's just a bunch of bull crap and this was february the first uh which was again last tuesday uh and many people have been calling her out for because like they say the way she acted for the four years she was there like please come on now I actually said John McCain's daughter hashtag Megan McCain can shut the hell up. She was never held accountable for her rude for her rudeness, disrespect, and unprofessional behavior on the show. So many people do do what they often do when she tried to come up. Not many people really like John McCain's daughter. Read her for who who and what she is. As many stated, she was never. It says, when did Megan ever apologize for any of the crap she said? But yeah, but like I say, you gonna say half ass apology? And you gonna say this about Whoopi Goldberg? The, again, who was friends with your dad for years? Your mom and I would say I believe probably still is a friend or respect at least respected by Miss Cindy McCain. But because she didn't continue to baby you and cuddle you and speak to you know let you just continue as most people say at the fool and do whatever you wanted to you actually had the audacity to say half ass apology like wow i dare you megan McCain, megan privilege mccain said on the show miss harris vice president of the united states sounded like a moron she was not asked to apologize. She nor was she suspended. Why do she feel Miss Goldberg acknowledgement, apology, and information from Anti Defamation League is inadequate? And it has nothing to do but as she's trying to make it liberal and conservative. So Again, in my opinion, John McCain's daughter just has no no Lord. So, but we gonna we we done with talking about her because she who really wants to to talk about Megan McCain like really. But again, this is a teachable moment. I do give respect to um, fellow colleagues that's supporting Whoopi, and that's her true friend. I respect Miss Kim because at the end of the day, this is a business matter. She is the president of ABC, so therefore she's got to take the responsibility in which she did. I'm going to read uh, one more tweet. How many times was Megan McCain suspended from the view for her offensive and racist comment? I'll wait.
So again, this is a learning moment. Now, this is a tweet that I really liked, and I'm going to read this to you, and we're going to end this conversation. Megan McCain got dozens of teachable moments on the view for her racist without penalty. Whoopi Goldberg got punished the same day she apologized and educated herself on national TV. Don't tell me anything about affirmative action and reverse racism this Hashtag Black History Month. And that's a tweet from Ernest Owens. So, it's a teachable moment. And big respects. Kudos to fellow colleagues, co-hosts, Sonny, Anna, Joy, Sarah, Karen Dupish, uh, Derek Jerome, Mr. Brian Tedder, all the men and women that make up the team the view miss kim god because again she's getting she's doing she's doing her job in a difficult moment so i have much respect let's practice kindness and also give what you would want someone to give you if you made a mistake if you messed up and you apologize and you 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 do the due diligence of getting educated. Offer just a little bit of empathy, a little bit of human kindness, and humbling yourself. I'm Lamarcia Lewis. Let's talk.